It's the Game 4 press conference featuring the Alabama Crimson Tide. We're joined by head coach Patrick Murphy and student athletes Claire Jenkins and Montana Fouts. Uh, Claire, you, you had, uh, we'll describe it as a un-Claire Jenkins-like NCAA tournament to date. What, what kind of work did you put in to, to get ready for the World Series, and, and how much did that first hit kind of jumpstart your day for you? Um, I just um, thought about my mindset mostly, just because I know I can do it throughout the season. I was like, I'm good enough to be here. And so just focusing back to what got me um, here in the first place and just making sure my mind's in the right spot. And then after the first hit, I kind of went in the dugout and I was like, here we go, we're ready. Like, I got the hit and let's keep rolling. Questions for the student athletes, please. Claire, on the home run, I guess, what did you see? Uh, let's get, it, it just had enough. I mean, did it feel good off the bat? It did. It was a change up, and I sat on it really deep. And then when I hit it, I was like, I just hoped it had enough to go out. I knew it was pretty high in the sky, so just hoped that it would make it out. Claire, uh, coming into this World Series, you were struggled SEC tournament, regional, and then super regional. What was it about this stage that just kind of lifted you up? I think it's my team and, like, them just keep coming and, like, telling me, like, you got this, just keep mm -hmm. swinging, just keep doing you, and just them having my back throughout this um, little short – this time in postseason. Uh, Montana, when OU did have success against you, what were they able to do to, to be able to especially get the uh, bat on the ball? Um, I just think that they capitalized on my mistakes. Um, I got behind in the count, and I think that they were ready to swing. Uh, were you nervous in the first inning? I think the 26 pitches just kind of seemed a little off, but then you kind of settled down afterward. Was it just kind of getting over the nerves, or was it just not hitting your spots? What was it? Yeah, I wasn't really nervous. I just I think I wasn't really trusting my stuff until later in the game. Claire, the, you had the line drive in the sixth inning. I don't think you even dropped the bat. It was it happened so fast. So what, what did you see on that? I just saw an inside pitch and I drove it, and then it just she jumped up and it went straight in her glove. It's just one of those things. She made a great play. You did you have a hit on that play? I did. Uh, for both athletes, just what does this team need to do to get ready for a uh, win or go home type game on uh, Saturday? Start with Claire, please. Um, we just need to trust ourselves. We just need to go out there and play Alabama softball and take care of our business, and we'll come out on top. Montana? Um, I just think, like Murph was saying after the game, we just need to have short-term memory, and then, like, if any team can do it, I think that we're, our team is built to come through the loser's bracket. Mayor? For both athletes, did, uh, did y'all see – what did y'all see on the uh, triple that Mendez hit? Did you think Alyssa had a good shot at it? Start with Montana, please. Um, yeah, I mean, Alyssa is a great outfielder. I just, I knew off the bat it was, it was a hard hit. Um, again, she capitalized on my mistakes. Claire? I really thought Alyssa had it, just how she was tracking it down, and I thought it was going to be another play that she made early in the year, just foot off the wall and catch it as it goes, like, right at the top of the fence. But I thought she had a really good play on it. Mayor? Mayor Nega, Softball America. Claire, uh, you played travel ball with G. Um, how has she evolved as a pitcher since then? She's changed so much from when I played with her in travel ball. She just has new pitches, different pitches, and they're a lot crisper. And she's just um, really changed a lot and just grown into a great pitcher. Claire, going off of that, um, what was it like to hit the home run off of a former teammate of yours? What was that like for you? It was a lot of fun. Um, just like knowing that I played with her and like, knowing that I had hit at bats like off of practice before. So it was just fun going out there and then getting to do that off of someone that I used to play with. <clears throat> Any other questions for the student athletes? Claire, Montana, thank you very much. You're excused. Questions for Coach Murphy, please. What'd you tell the team after, after this tough loss, battling back with this? Number one team in the country. Yeah, just, you know, um, we just needed one more hit to go our way, like Claire's or Alyssa's even the last inning. They made two good plays, and, um, you know, I look down and you see they have two triples, which doesn't happen very often in a game, but they hit two triples. But, um, you know, if, if anyone's built for going through the loser's bracket is us with our pitching staff with five pitchers, and 
I think everybody's really ready to go. And, um, you know, I, I thought it was a really well-played game between two really good teams. I know Montana said that she wasn't nervous, but that you had a, a team full of rookies, of, of people who hadn't been there before against a team who have been nothing but here. Could you feel that? Could you sense that at all early? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it was just a, like a getting comfortable out there, you know. And I, I thought she was going to get on a roll there because she was striking people out. And her changeup was the best it was, it's been all year. You know, I think she only missed one um, that was thrown for a ball. But other than that, you know, she kept them off balance. Steph called a good game. Um, she used her rise ball at the end of the game because they were probably looking low. Um, you know, I, I just was hoping we could hold them there. Coach, you talk about the, the team being built to be able to go through the loser's bracket because of the pitching staff. What other traits does the team need to have to be able to uh, make it through that path? Just resiliency. And, you, you, I mean, everybody knows that she was going through a schneid here, Claire, for weeks. And it reminded me of Amanda Locke in 2012. She'd done the same thing. And we were playing Arizona State on the Friday night, and Locke finally got a, a little uh, Texas leaguer to fall. And then she hits the home run to beat Dallas Escobita in a great game, two to one. And um, I really thought that was going to be Claire tonight. You know, she gets the little duck fart that falls and and then hits the home run on a changeup, which is, you know, that was our first home run since we played South Carolina, like March. I don't remember what it was, but it's been a while. She was stuck on 12 for two months. And you could just, you could feel the weight off her shoulders and even, even in Alyssa too. You know, Alyssa went through a rough super regional and and then, you know, she got on base twice, made them hurry, and that's her game. So between the two of them, it's very similar to us all year long as grit and resiliency, and that's what you got to have right now in a very short-term memory. Coach, you have, like you said, a deep pitching staff. When do you make the decision on who you throw next? Uh, we'll probably have a short, real short practice tomorrow. Probably just hit somewhere, um, and then talk with the coaching staff and see. Because you know we, let's see, we beat them down there, but then in the SEC tournament, Montana relieved Crystal, I believe it was. So Crystal threw about four and two thirds, and Montana threw two and a third. But um, every, I mean, all three of them have action against them. Uh, Coach, you talked uh, about Claire getting off the, the snot. Is that something that the rest of the team can uh, galvanize around and, and get motivated by as you go on throughout the tourney? Oh, yeah. You know, and I, I thought the key tonight was going to be our righties. They, they had to produce, you know, and we, we had only three. Bailey got an RBI. Claire got a home run. Um, and then Reagan... You know, she was 0 for 3, but the, the righties, I thought, because I thought maybe the lefties would get on, you know, Punch and Judy, whatever, a walk. And Alyssa was on twice, um, you know, so. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. Yes, sir.